You think you could back down this driveway and nail that over there? <laughs> sure. Look at this load that Haas has got. Oh, buddy. Charlie, you wanna fight? Oh, dude, he wants to fight. Man, get out of here, Charlie, you stupid dick. Take your kids. Well, putting the deck on the neck to work today. Hauled a Christmas tree yesterday, didn't document that. Hauling a load of, I'd say, junkish logs out of this job underneath there might be some choice oak but we have man look at the account of the excavators here a little stump grinder even though it needs new cylinders and pumps but those are three months out i'd knock out one stump on the lawn cleaning up a couple little spots here and there had the chipper you know i was going to throw this on with the excavator but this load of logs ain't going to my house the excavator would be I figured what the heck you know we got the spot up there let's put it to use and that it actually coming in handy right now well Haas had the wood yard here cleaned up got a mill back there that's gonna be a later on video but this is literally this week's spoils big oak job instead of running all this through the chipper should get repurposed for something else but we just haul it off it's pretty much trash find something else for it but today it's actually a cold sunny day and i got another load of cedar which that could just be firewood ain't really much there but i used the new deck on the neck haul this stuff off need to take stump grinder off before i dump this because once i dump it then i'll be blocking in the excavator so let's grab that thing yep we are we are way up here look at this guy Ooh. set it over there Yeah, perfect. He said he didn't know how to run it. He's gonna run over the power lines. Yep, I'm gonna go haul tractors. I'm gonna go uh, eat lunch and then work lunch? Dude, man, lunch was four hours ago. What you talking? 5,000 pound capacity. Next stop, my house. Do a truck swap, trailer swap combo. Ah, kind of funny. The trailer parking lot over there is pretty empty. Squeeze this next to the Ed dump trailer. You guys might have already saw what that one picked up the other day. A little buddy behind it, but we're gonna go snag up the new truck and ditch that bucket. It's already got the gooseneck hook to it. We are gonna turn and burn. We got three tractors to haul. I don't know if I'll be able to get them all today, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Uh, got an excavator bucket up there. Funny enough, I got an excavator bucket for the same machine down here. Look at that bird, though. what a setup. All right, let's go ahead and get this bucket off there. Transfer my kit, which is mainly my wallet and beverage, and we'll be on out of here. Yeah, that's not ideal. Normally, I just go in the bucket with the pallet forks and just pick it up, but I kept wanting to pitch it off the backside. 
So, yeah, that wasn't gonna work out for me. So we're just gonna chain and bang her here. What the heck? Not to mention the tractor was cold, so the hydrostat didn't want to release and it tried to run into the trailer. It's not brand new, but it still looks new. I ain't trying to put a dent in it, Kubota. Yep. Keep your face down, bucket. You tried to hurt the trip. Yep. bit different scenery up here once you climb the mountain just a little bit this is honestly only about 20 minutes from the house we had to postpone this shop because they had snow here so now i guarantee you that storm that's supposed to hit in, in a day or so this place will be getting snow no problemo so these are multi-million dollar houses by the way epic view over that way even over here these are really nice homes this guy just bought he's had an addition to his shop Hoss is over there working up a couple stumps from the trees we removed last week. There's the three we got to grab. Man, even if you had a semi, you could only haul two at once. Go over there and help Hoss a little bit. Go up here and flip a U. See if you can get wind. Let's put it in perspective. Lamborghinis, fancy Porsches. There's a shop back there. It's got some serious stuff in it. I don't know what the deal is at this place right here. They just got a third gen Cummins. <laughs> you know, a different class. How you doing? Well, I got the excavator loaded up. Ended up chatting with... The owner, well, she bought this house over here. Couldn't pass up the deal, and I don't blame her. They sold it way under under what it should have been. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing back to the house. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get both of them tonight, but we're gonna try. Hoss got that stump ground over there, or three stumps, actually. We craned those out the other day. That was a fiasco. Had to go home and get the 080, because the other rig, we won't talk about it. Yeah, there we go. We get to hop on the old expressway. Go to Haas's house. I got to go through town and mess around with all that. Go to my house. We just get to hop on this little jog. Go over a hill or two. Down into canyon. Hit the valley. Home. Let's see. We got to get on the accelerator pedal though because we got a little bit of a grade coming here. Come on now. Honey, just a little bit of a hill. It just hurts that acceleration. We'll get there. It ain't a ain't a race, fellas. Forty thousand pounds with a pickup. Sure. Look at this. This is what's kind of funny. They didn't stack up because of me immediately. They were all coming down the hill. But it's just kind of funny how that looks. Listen here, fellas. The cost of this rig, truck and trailer, and a machine on there. Depending on what machine I have, will outweigh the price of a house without a problem. So when a little car like that gets slowed down because I'm trying to keep it safe, I have no problem with that. That is just the nature of the beast. But if they're checking over into my lane for, you know, no real reason, I've got a problem with that. Let's, we need a gear drop. Maybe two, there we go. Hold 55 going down the hill. Do, do, do. All right, enough of this. Let's go. All right, this hill right here. Let's get a little bit of run at it. Towing the Prime Tech or the Mechalek, I cannot hold third gear going up this. It will definitely go down a second. So let's see if the 080's got a little bit out of its pants enough that this thing's got enough in its pants to make this hill in third. Looks like we're right at the power band. Oh, 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 man. It's going to be close. To the top. Oh yeah. 
Made it. Look at that. We even gained a mile an hour there at the last second. Look at it down here. It's like going to a different freaking state. Quite a bit warmer. And uh, we're getting plenty of sun down here. Summertime gets a little rough, but I'd rather have that than freezing cold. I don't know. Some of you guys live in cold, cold places. I'd rather be warm. Drink more water. Comment below if you guys are an OG follower. Remember back in the day when I had to get up here, lift the machine so that I could pick the ramps up over because there were the mechanical BS ramps. Now I just hop up in here and I've been doing this for a while now, but you know, she's pretty clever. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ooh, yeah. Let's go get some more. Chasing the moon around. Get the blood flowing. Still cold. On the road again. I can't wait to get back on the fire truck up. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Cool thing about the automatic life. Sleeping on the line, Junior. <laughs> Look. <laughs> what the hurt on that guy. Yeah, and the trailer's still back there. Yep, that Subaru went down. Took out a Toyota right there. Watch out, coming in. Two more machines to go. We can't be waiting on nothing. Well, the guy who did the stump grinding for was supposed to leave the check on the windshield of this, but this is good. Nope. Huh. Last time we had somebody put the check on the windshield of a rig, they tried to put it in the cab and broke the freaking handle on the excavator. $170 later. But maybe it's on this thing. I don't know. Maybe I should look around a little bit before I, should, you know, fire stuff up and eat up a check. How do you explain that one? What's this? I can't travel home with a firewood right there. Or can I? I don't see a check anywhere. Should I haul both of these at once? <laughs> 30,000 plus pounds? Nah, sure. The new trailer, by the way, is built, and uh, technically, I think I could actually haul it, but the truck says no. Where the hell's the check? Hmm. Still haven't found the check yet. Had to put on a coat, man. She's cold up here. Nice thing is, this thing was blowing on the coat from the back seat warmers there. Oh, it's a spot. Let's see if we can find the check. Guess what? Found it. It was still in his hand. He came over and gave it to us. It's always, you know, nice to get paid as soon as you're done with a job. So I appreciate you and appreciate you. Now let's go home and just grab the 3500 and leave this on the trailer and see if we can get this done before um, day ends. place a little crowded when everything's not organized we're just gonna put this thing right in the barn and load the chipper another time we're just gonna go grab the 3500 all we need is a wallet beverage and a drill gun because i know the one i robbed the battery out of it for the speed binders for the little buddy and we're just gonna get on out of here and get this done because tomorrow we've got to prep for the storm and hang out in the shop didn't expect this today. I get to drive all three of the Deweys. Well, the Dewey swap run doesn't count, but we're going to be towing with all the trucks. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Sun's still up, but it won't be by the time we get out to that job. That's the way it was the last time I was working that property. A little. I don't know. Everybody wants to race. Cool thing about a modern Dewey diesel. <laughs> They actually got a little bit of sauce to throw around. End up just passing people that are just trying to put the hurt on you. Don't know what the deal is. Just pass like, I don't know, 15 people that cut me off back there. They get on the freeway and then they're just like, oh, no. 
literally shut the camera off just in time for this freaking guy to cut me off right before the passing or the exit lane stopped. Then he's just right here. What the f***? You're stupid. You're stupid. Just stupid. You got your tent, you dumb shit. God, I need to start filming everybody. Oh my gosh. Almost took the bumper off trying to make the X's what that old boy did. This is how it's supposed to work. Acknowledge they gotta merge. Blend it together. Come on. Cutting people off. What is this? Is Robocop following me? Why do you have a light bar across to everything? What in the world? It's kind of funny. The truck's even saying it. We got a winter storm warning. Uh, that just winter. That is how it happens. Where'd the sun go? Oh boy. Last trip. Anybody steal it? Is it right here? No? Next one. Man, she's still over there. I see just the glimmer. Go up here and flip a U. A lot of these residential jobs really bank on having a cul-de-sac at the end of the road or whatever. Sometimes cul-de-sacs are about a quarter this size and they're, it gets close. This one's perfect. Take her nice and wide. Save on your trailer tires just a little bit. Boom, boom. Then you drop the ramps, load this old rig up, I think. I don't know. Hoss kind of wanted this back at his house, but I don't know if I want to take it to his house and deal with that. You know what I mean? I think I might just take it home and keep it. He wanted to balance the head. Where you at? There you are. Yee yee. Please don't run over a spigot or a stump and throw a track. Or a fire hydrant or any of the above. Just gets in your mode. Oh. Alright. Take it serious. It's actually a tight shot. 82 tracks. 84-ish between the fenders. Drive over fenders are four vehicles. Do not drive over over to the skid steer. You will be fixing your shit. Boy, that's tight. I think I hold this up here in the dump trailer. At least once. Man, this video has got some potential to be a long one. There we go. Think. To be honest with you, don't know. We're just gonna kinda do this and go on with our day. Saves time right there, boys. Speed binders. I gotta do a review on these things. Man, I've had them for, these are my set that go with this trailer. These ones are pretty much brand new compared to the other ones. Considerably less hours on these, but Man, they are. I won't go back to regular binders, no way. They are legit. Gotta leave the rig on so the lights stay on. It's got that factory. Oh, it don't, it don't hurt the battery. Make life easy. Come on. That loop and a chain thread. No thanks. Just get the big hook. Some of these I got double option so that I can hook to a track machine a little bit easier. Oh, she right. Well, finally, third machine lock and loaded behind a dually. I'm gonna get on out of here. Did I tell you there's a storm coming? I'm gonna say a foot of snow gonna be up in this area somewhere. Ball, I'm gonna ballpark it real quick climb up in here and not break her neck what was that oh. ain't worried about that little guy let's kill this thing 
get on home. It's nice enough that it keeps the light on long enough so you can get out of the barn before it smacks you your face on something. One last time around this circle, at least for today. Come back around another round, another day, another round on this circle. Man. I say this truck tows that little skid steer pretty damn good. Let's see what it's up to speed the coordination is. Come on now. Old throttle. Yeah, there you go. I think the throttle response is a little bit worse. That guy should have been pulling the other guy over a little bit ago. Glad to see somebody getting pulled over for once. But man, I haven't seen a cop around in freaking months. 55 already. Slightly out accelerates the other truck when it's, you know, towing less weight. But I think the, uh, this truck could definitely go with a, like a bottle, a pedal monster. The other truck, yeah, it's, it's not as bad as this one. I'll say that much. Yeah. Simmer down. Let's drop a gear. That ain't gonna do crap. Let's drop another gear. Just ease down this hill. Let everybody cut us off. Cause you get down to the bottom and it's just a big old cluster of on ramp, off ramp, your mom's going home, all that mess. I just ease into it. I don't wanna get fender bender and drive off. Try to argue this. Speed limit doesn't matter. I am doing just shy of the speed limit coming down this hill, racking up the people, racking them up. Nobody cares about the speed limit anymore. They're just full sand. They just want to get you out of the way. Done deal. I'd rather just knock all this out today rather than ruin my tomorrow with, uh, you know, just going to get in one machine, upset the balance and the flow of one day. That can take a couple hours pretty much right off half a day or just do it everything when you're in motion be done with it i could definitely say which one of these trucks is my favorite after towing all all three of them back to back to back uh the 3500 very capable 5500 old one very capable but just comfort power to the getter to done mode the new truck just way of set it up that flatbed everything on it it's definitely my favorite but comment below what you guys thought of today you're just Turn and burn and turn and burn. Yep. Anyway, gonna go inside. I think dinner's gonna be pretty quick. Taylor got home somehow an hour early, so she's got dinner rocking and rolling. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.